Hey, what's up everybody? Just giving an update here. It's been a while. Uh, haven't really done much. Uh, kind of got burned out. Started doing some other stuff, but I uh, went to a train show uh, here local and uh, ended up picking up an Undeck uh, out there in SD70, which I spent the last week on or so and finally got it done. I just got to hook up the uh, wiring for the lights. Just didn't feel like doing it tonight. So I uh, added all sorts of details to it. It's uh, almost a mirror image to this other uh, SD70 that I did. I actually bought it from the same guy the year prior at the train show. Uh, I got a screaming deal on both. Uh, the NS one was on deck for uh, $35. This year, the uh, Conrail on deck was for $30, so, like I said, couldn't pass it up. Uh, the detail is identical on each unit. The only difference is this time I used a, a Canon cab on uh, this one here. You can see with the, uh, the door open. Uh, main reason being, uh, it's just easier to put the windows in, because I had a real problem with the windows on the S NS unit. They uh, pretty much all had to be sanded by hand to get in. If anyone's ever had to install them before, they know what I mean. Pain in the ass. Uh, but this one came out real nice. Uh, Mashed off all the walkways so that they have the the black. They put rear ditch lights on it. So only the, uh, the front ditch lights are going to work. Uh, just like my SD9-3. It's that much more work to do for a feature that I don't think hardly anybody ever uses because you hardly see these engines running front forward and rarely do you see them with the rear ditch lights on so the uh, fronts they're the uh, 0603 LEDs in the Atherin housings and then there's a another LED up top uh, for the upper light and then there's just going to be the uh, LED for the rear, uh, but like I said, I haven't hooked up any of the lights yet. Just need Getting to get back to, to the it. layout. Uh, this scene has pretty much stayed the same. I don't know if that sign was there prior, but that's actual sign from the real business. Um, got the Chevy pickup at the train show. I, think I paid two bucks or two fifty for it. Pretty good deal. I got the plaster down for the other side of my river. Just gotta finish that. Just getting busy with you know, other stuff. And then I got these two cars, the, uh, the E-Class uh, station wagon, and then the Mini Cooper. Again, they were, uh, I don't know what brand they were, but the guy was only charging 250 for them, so couldn't pass that up. And I don't know if on my last update, if this was scenic yet. Uh, but it is now, so it's got the yard with the lumber in it, and the potted flowers out front. The front actually has flowers. They weren't these flowers, so I just kind of winged it there. And then my uh, stack of rail pile. And then this is the uh, one of the later things I've done. It's a uh, it's actually this corner warehouse. So I added the BLMA uh, cell phone tower with a BLMA box. And on the box, I actually made a, a Verizon wireless sign uh, to make it look like a cell phone tower. And you see my fire hydrant. And then over here, I've got the poles. So this is actually off center. It's supposed to be back over here. Must have got bumped. I haven't glued it down. Uh, the poles, the uh, forklifts don't bump, and then a trash can. So, other than that, I mean, I still have this section over here. It's been kind of my workbench slash storage for junk. I've been doing other projects. And that's about it. This is the, uh, the rest of the layout. And then uh, 
the engine yard over here. Not much has changed over here. And then just the location of diesels. So like I said, not I haven't been up to much other than uh, doing a new diesel, which I don't need, but the price was right. You got talked into it and been having a bunch of free time recently. Decided just to do it up. So other than that, not much else going on. So any uh, questions, comments, go ahead and leave them. Thanks.